How my best brings out the best in others. As I thought about this topic, I realized before I could answer this question as a whole, I was first forced to ask, what am I, a young person, capable of? What is my best? And as I began to study this out, I came across an insightful book, Do Hard Things by Alex and Brett Harris. I was immediately engrossed in their ideas as the concepts from this book began to transform my definition of my best. They told a story about an American named David who, during a time of war, was called upon to take command of a captured vessel and its crew and sail it safely back to his home country. And of course, during this journey, he would encounter such difficulties as storms, low supplies, disease, and even attempts at mutiny. But against all odds, he completed his mission. But I believe I forgot to make just one distinction. David, the captain of this ship, was 12 years old. Now, our immediate response to this story is that David must have been an extreme case, a freak of society, not the average youth of his day. Because unfortunately, in 2016, a normal American teenager is often expected to be slumped in a chair playing video games without a care for anything but that next high score. We are often expected to be incapable of completing difficult tasks. But as I looked at the expectations and the accomplishments of youth throughout history, I was shocked and inspired. Lewis Braille invented the Braille writing system for the blind at age 15. Everest Gallio had developed an entire branch of algebra before the age of 20. At the age of 17, Bell Boyd had begun a career of espionage on behalf of the Confederates in the Civil War. I found example upon example of young men and women, no more equipped for greatness than you or I, who, when given difficult adult tasks, conquered insurmountable odds. These stories took the ceiling off of my definition of best, and I began trying in a more intentional way to, as the book title stated so simply, do hard things. One of the first areas in which I strove to do hard things, my new definition of best, was film production. Now, before I had contemplated the ideas in this book, I made videos. <laughs> Not very good ones, but I made videos. I had looked at movie making as just a hobby, but after I started redefining my best, I began to look at filmmaking in a more purposeful way. Instead of just making videos for fun, I joined an online media class that is enabling me to learn from skilled producers in the industry. I decided that I, that I wanted to make high quality movies with positive themes that would go beyond dazzling special effects and gripping storylines. I want people to walk away from my films with their hearts and minds transformed for the better. I began to see this bringing out the best in others as I was showing my videos to friends. One friend in particular who had never made videos before bought his own camera and began filming with that same vigor and purpose that I had found after redefining my best. But my impact wasn't only limited to people who had an interest in film production. I've seen it affect people in other areas of my life as well. For instance, I'm a part of the leadership team for a youth logic and critical thinking club. Although many teenagers tend to shy away from subjects like logic, worldview, and philosophy, I've seen something quite different in this club. By giving my best to what I am doing in this club, I am able to help create an atmosphere where teens feel like they can think well, a place where it is cool to be engaged. I've heard teens on their own time talking about logical fallacies and worldview issues and how they apply to their everyday lives. They don't see this as a class, but as a club where they can work together to consider and work through tough questions. So whether I'm working towards my goals in filmmaking, participating in a critical thinking club, or just doing life, I realize just how much giving all of my effort can really affect those around me. How my best can truly bring out the best in others.